And here then, when Runcie and them came together, they were wearing such interesting paraphernalia. Now, let's have a look at some interesting points here. The Templars, remember we spoke about them? The Templars institution instituted occult, hermetic, or Scottish Rite Freemasons. I'm quoting now from the book Morals and Dogma by Albert Pike, the Bible of Freemasonry. It says here, mentions Spence himself, had not that keen and far-sighted intellect nor that grandeur of purpose which afterwards distinguished the military founder of another soldiery that became formidable to kings. This is interesting language that Pike, he writes. This is a channel book, no person can write like this. The Templars were unintelligent and therefore unsuccessful Jesuits. Isn't that fascinating? So Freemasonry says that the Templars got caught in the act. Jesuits are too clever to get caught in the act. Wow. The end of the drama is well known, and now Jacques de Malloy and his fellows perished in the flames. So de Malloy is the youth order of Freemasonry, of which Clinton, of course, was a member. But before his execution, the chief of the doomed order organized and institute what afterwards came to be called the occult, hermetic, or Scottish masonry. You know, they deny their Templar origin, and here he states it quite blatantly, if you want to read it. And I didn't write it. I photocopied it out of the book so that nobody would say I'm messing with the words. That's why it's a photocopy. In the book Isis Unveiled, this is what Blavatsky says about the papacy. No apostle Peter was ever at Rome, but the Pope seizing the scepter of the Pontifex Maximus, the keys of Janus and Cubel, and adorning his Christian head with the cap of the Magna Mater, copied from that of the tiara of the Brahma Mater, the supreme pontiff of the initiates of old India, became the successor of the pagan high priest, the real Peter Romano or Petroma. So she says it quite blatantly. He's the high priest of paganism. Their own writings, isn't this fascinating? Then she writes further, Is not the worship of saints and angels now, said Bishop Newton years ago, in all respects the same, that the worship of demons was in former times? Wow. The name only is different. The thing is identically the same. The very same temples, the very same images. Did you know that all the Roman Catholic major temples stand on pagan sites of worship? Which were once consecrated to Jupiter and other demons are now consecrated to the Virgin Mary and other saints. The whole of paganism is converted and applied to popery. Why not be impartial and add that a good portion of what was adopted by Protestant religions also? These people know. The very apostolic designation Peter is from the mysteries. The Hierophant or the Supreme Pontiff bore the Chaldean title Peter or interpreter. So the occult world knows exactly who the high priest is. 